Good afternoon. It's about 2.25 on Saturday, um, June 24th. Welcome to another episode of Deb's Artsy Life. Um, I'm just crocheting, painting, and doing all kinds of creative things today. Um, I wanted to show you my basket full of Premier Basics. I did the yarn haul of the Premier Basics in another video, but um, I wanted to try out these colors today and I'm actually making a blanket for my daughter's nanny. It's my ex-mother-in-law actually, but she's in the nursing home and so I want to make a blanket for the bottom of her bed. And so I'm crocheting um, Daisy Center uh, Granny Squares. Um, this is my second um, podcast, really, coming to you from the corner of my couch where I crochet. And um, I did a 40, about a 45 minute, 43 minute video this morning of me painting my whimsical watercolor blooms. There was no sound because I didn't want to talk because that takes away from the, um, from my husband's outside on the porch. So I'm a little, um, what's the word, embarrassed? Um, anyway, it takes away from the solitude and the quiet and the meditativeness of painting the whimsical watercolor blooms. So I just set up my uh, phone and filmed a silent film, basically. And I hope it's not boring. If it is, you can like fast forward through it. But it shows the entire process in real time. And um, it's not the greatest quality with my cell phone, but I did order another um, stand in order to film tutorials and in order to film paintings um, this week. I sent the other one back because it just didn't work like I wanted it to. And I ordered another one with a remote control, which is powered by Bluetooth. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll get better as I go along, hopefully. Um, I have to tell you a very sad story. We had the this bird's nest outside on the deck, and it had uh, the mama had built the nest up on top of a, the outside light on the deck. And I guess I don't know if it was the slick surface. I don't know, but I'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, I had enjoyed that bird so much. I thought it would, might be an eastern phoebe. The sound. It looked like an Eastern Phoebe, but it wasn't, it didn't have that sound. Um, so I don't know what it, what kind of bird it was, but it was beautiful. And I had seen the mama and the daddy, and I would watch them, watch for them every morning. They'd be out on the deck. And I went out there this morning to check on my plants on the deck, and the bird's nest was on the floor of the deck and the baby birds were laying in the cracks and on the deck dead and it absolutely broke my heart i just i was just so sorry i don't know what happened the only thing i could think of is maybe having that nest perched on the light that slick you know metal light maybe with all the rain we've had this week maybe it just slid off and and the impact of the fall kill the birds. I don't know. It kind of looked that way because they were just, you know, it, it was really sad. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to tell my husband. And he's going to have to clean it up because there's no way that I'm going to do it. I was sad enough just seeing it. Uh, but anyway, on a brighter note, let's talk about yarn. Okay, so I want to show you this big huge bag that I made. 
it's full of yarn guys it is absolutely full and it's full of premier anti-peeling and I learned about this yarn from I learned everything I know about yarn from YouTube but uh, specifically of course cinnamon stitches and um, also uh, Carrie Penny um, the happy crafty homemaker so I have this huge um, bag of premier anti-peeling and my plan is to make um, a blanket so anyway I started it today and to go with this, on Mary Maxim, they had this anti-peeling white N-A-K-O, NACO, Mona Lisa yarn a while back. I ordered it. It was $1.99 a skein. And it's the same amount of yardage as the Premier Basics, I think. Um, 100 grams. Maybe a little bit more. They don't convert it to yards, so I have no idea. But it's also anti-peeling acrylic. And I've been working with this this morning, and it is absolutely luscious yarn to work with. There's no comparison to regular value acrylic. The feel of this yarn is incredible. It is so squishy, and it has this beautiful sheen to it. So I've used the Butter uh, Premier Anti-Peeling for the Flower Center. And then the petals are that Mona Lisa White. And then I'm going to go in with um, all the bright colors. I've got Royal Blue, uh, Red, this beautiful Kiwi, and this, you can't see it on the camera necessarily but it's a beautiful bright it's so bright I wish you could see it um it's called berry the premier anti-peeling so I'm gonna use all those colors in the blanket and the blanket that I'm making for my um, daughter's grandma is is the premier basics um, and it's gonna be in this raspberry which you doesn't show up on camera and this cherry red this beautiful bright blue this gorgeous lime green and Dijon mustard and as you can see I had a major yarn barf problem with this uh, sweet potato color but I've got them all in a oh and this is just I want you to look at this I don't know if you can see it but look at the difference in the Hobby Lobby I love this yarn it's got 300 and Oh, 50 yards. They've got almost exactly the same yardage. But this is the Premier Basics, and that's the I love this yarn. The size of the skeins is incredibly different, and they're the same crochet hook. They're the same weight. They're exactly the same, except they're not. This has a, a beautiful poof to it that, that this doesn't have. I love them both. I love them both. But... There's a huge difference in the squish. I don't know. The Premier Basics almost feels, well, it is a thicker yarn. You can see. Hang on a minute. It is thicker. It just has this loft to it that the, I love this yarn doesn't have. But, as I said, I love them both. Um, I have to show you. I finished, <laughs> just remember this is not a very pretty color green, but this is the yarn that Melody Weed in Maryland gave me and asked me or t told me that she wanted me to learn to knit. So I have knitted my very first piece of fabric. I would call this a scarf, but as you can see, it's not long enough to really be a scarf. But, I do love it. I love it because it's the first thing I ever knitted. And I love this fabric. I love the fabric of the garter stitch, knit stitch. It's so stretchy. Oh, I just love it. 
I love it so, oh, 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 I gotta tell you, I learned how to bind off last night watching Fiber Spider. I don't know which end it is. It's this one, because see how I messed up on the first one? But I bound it off with a crochet hook instead of the knitting needles. I was just excited I knew how to bind off, period. So, it, it's so imperfect. I mean, this whole scarf is terribly imperfect. But, I mean, what do you expect? It's my first one, right? What do I expect? Okay, so, I ordered this from Amazon. And, again, my camera is not the best. I may have to invest in a webcam. But this is a color called Bluegrass. And it's the woolly Thick and Quick, the same as the green scarf. And these are the same knitting needles that uh, Melody Weed gifted me. And so I want to knit another scarf. And it takes two of these to make a scarf. So um, I ordered another one. And I'll... What have I done? Wait a minute. Okay. So I ordered a second one of these and I want to make a scarf that I can actually wear. One that's long enough. So I'll be working on this as I work on everything else. I've got about 50 whips going. Um, another thing I'm working on, here's another huge <laughs> bag I made. Oh, I love these things. I was going to sell it. I had it downtown at the art school um, in the gallery to sell, but I went and picked it up one day because, oh, this yarn is so soft. It's my only experience with Stylecraft Special Decay. I ordered a bunch of colors in it to try it out, but I do not like working with DK yarn. It is so slow, and the little stitches are so tiny, and it takes you forever to I mean, you can work for hours and hours and hours and have a granny square about this big, and I just couldn't deal with that. I know it's lighter weight, and it's probably better for garments, but what I did with it was made these bags. I just used about three strands of it and crocheted these humongous bags to get rid of the yarn or use up the yarn, and oh my gosh, it's so soft. It makes me want to make garments with it, but I am not... A garment maker. So here's my two great huge big fat bags that hold uh, enough yarn to make probably two blankets. I mean they're huge. So oh back to this. Here is more Premier Anti-Peeling except it is in these uh, muted colors. I don't know if you can see it but um, it's like a a lake blue, a butter yellow. Um, oh, this is the butter yellow. The This is the sunshine yellow. I told you wrong. This is sunshine. This is butter. Okay, and then I, I ordered this beautiful meadow. It's a new color of the Premier Anti-Peeling, as is this dogwood, which is absolutely the most gorgeous pink. Um, and it kind of matches um, our front bedroom. Well, it does match it. So I'm making a huge full-size blanket or bedspread for our front bedroom. So this is the meadow and lake, and I'm just making granny squares. I think, though, that I'm going to get bored with this. Um, so I think, oh, and here's a porcelain. These screens keep popping up on my computer. Hold on. Good grief. How irritating. You know why? Because my mouse had stuff all over it. Now I can't get it to work. Oh, Okay, sorry about that. I'll try to edit that out, but if I can't, well, it's just there. So this is the porcelain blue. It's beautiful. All these colors are so beautiful. This is the color azalea. And I want to make anti-peeling because I want it to last. But what I'm going to do is use the butter and make the daisy flower centers. I just... I gotta have flowers. 
and at the very least I want to change colors every round I just I don't want to do these anymore they're too they're just not me I got the idea to make it less busy you know and and to do several rounds I got that idea from it is a Sarah which I love to watch her but it's just not me I I want busy <laughs> I need busy I want all the colors so that's one project and then the other project is the bright colored um, granny squares that will go on the other bed an, another bedspread and then the blanket for my mother-in-law so that's a lot of whips um, knitting I haven't decided on the knitting if I but I, I I love to crochet oh my goodness it was so nice to get those crochet hooks back in my hands after knitting on that scarf so oh and I was working on that one scarf with serenity chunky candy I don't know if you remember me showing it to you but I messed up last night I was watching TV and I was getting tired and I missed a stitch or something and I tried to correct it and I ended up making a bigger mess and so I just frogged it because I only had about this much and what I really want to do with this yarn is crochet another bag um, I love crocheted bags and I love to make them and I love to and I actually would sell those um, I had a question uh, in a comment on my Facebook about did I make the blankets to sell and I don't think I can do that because of the time it takes and the yarn it takes to make a full blanket um, and I get so much more joy out of giving them away speaking of blankets the one I was working on last video last episode episode one or the introduction it is finished and I put a um, reel on Instagram of the finished blanket so I'll try to link that below but I gave it to my daughter's best friend and she loved it I think and I was very pleased that it was done and I could move on to something else and also very pleased with how it turned out but to sell those I, I would have to charge like hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars a blanket and I can't do that I just I won't do that so you know if it, I, I love to make them but honestly my daughter's keeping me busy uh, making blankets for folks um, so I and I, and I want to make these uh, bedspreads for our beds so no I won't be selling blankets if I made one and I you know did a festival or something and had one for sale that's one thing but I think it would be too much like work if I tried to make them on commission or something I, ooh, ooh, I don't want to do that so that's about all I have to talk about today I can sit um, and, and show you how this um, yeah how about I do that I'll show you how this um, Premier Basics works up I'm using an eye hook as you can tell I've got a mess of yarn I, some of them come like this and they're perfect and they have the the tail or the end sticking out and they have you know everything's all nice and neat and then some of them you get yarn barf so I only had two with yarn barf and the rest were good but boy that's irritating um I hope I'm using the right let's see here make sure I'm not using anti-peeling okay yeah this is the premier basics so I'm just gonna sit here and make my square a lot of people complain 
about sewing. Well, I shouldn't say complain, but yeah, that's kind of what they do. Um, about sewing in ends, you know, and, and they don't like doing squares because you, granny squares, because you have all the ends to sew in. Um, and what I'm talking about is these little tails where you've, you know, changed yarns and joined the yarn or whatever. I don't mind that. I find it kind of therapeutic to just sit and sew in ends. And, it, you know, it, it's a different activity than crocheting, but it's, I don't mind it at all. And sometimes I sew them in as I go, and sometimes I sew them in at the end. I, on that last blanket I did, oh my gosh. I had, there were 15 round squares and there were two tails for every color. And so literally I spent an entire Sunday afternoon and part of the next day sewing in ends on that blanket because I saved them all until the very end. So that is, is not the recommended way to do it, but it, it really didn't bother me. And it was so satisfying to get those ends sewn in and be able to join those granny squares. So no, not a problem. I don't know if you can see it, but this bright blue is just gorgeous. It's like a, a greenish blue. I mean, there is some a greenish tint to it. Um, oh, it is gorgeous. It's kind of a deep, deep, deep turquoise. And I've got a knot. Goodness gracious. Welcome to my artsy life. Okay, I got that undone. I put out more videos this week than I anticipated. I did that yarn haul. Oh, I have to tell you, I was so excited. Premier Yarns subscribed to my channel. And they left this long and, and very nice comment on my reel on Instagram of the blanket, the finished blanket, and thanked me for featuring their product. And I mean, it was just so thoughtful. It made me want to buy nothing but Premier Yarns because, you know, I put Hobby Lobby, I tagged Hobby Lobby in my post and in my videos, and they didn't respond at all. They never have responded to any um, link or tag that I have, you know, given them. I've used the hashtag, I love this yarn. I've tagged them in things I've made, and I've never had a response from Hobby Lobby. And maybe it's because it's such a huge uh, chain of stores. I don't know. But what a personal touch to take the time. I don't know who they have doing that, but for a company to take the time and thank you for sharing uh, their product and to thank you for promoting them and to encourage me, they were like, um, you know, keep sharing your um, artistic creations. I can't remember the exact words, but they were just so encouraging and so appreciative of me sharing their yarn. And I just love that. I can see why Cinnamon Stitches and other people are affiliates because it makes you want to just encourage everybody to buy Premier Yarns. And I will tell you, um, if you can afford anti-peeling, um, Premier anti-peeling everyday worsted or, you know, they have DK too, but I just do not like DK weight yarn. But if you can afford the anti-peeling, I highly recommend it because it is totally different from um, the value yarns. Although this Premier Basics, I mean, I wouldn't want to make, um, you know, a blanket that I was going to give away or donate, excuse me, out of um, the expensive anti-peeling. I guess I'm selfish, but I'm going to save that for projects that I'm going to keep. But, and so this is fine for the blanket that goes in the nursing home. But, you know, eventually they're going to peel. And so if you can afford the anti-peeling, it, it works up wonderfully. And I want to order more of the um, Mona Lisa Nako from Mary Maxim. 
that yarn is incredible. I have so enjoyed making those circles this morning. I just can't tell you how squishy it is. Okay, so I've got one more stitch and then I can join. And I'll have my Daisy Center flower square. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. Now this is the front side. And so what I'm going to do is turn it over on the back to add the next few rounds because I want it to be, um, if I don't do that, at some point my granny square will start to skew. Some people can do it and it doesn't do that, but I don't even want to take the chance because I don't know how big I'll end up making this. What I really love to do is take the squares in different sizes and do borders around them and combine them this is a four round square so as long as your squares were in a multiple of four you could combine them in any way you could do um you could do this and and have 16 rounds and then you could have um four four round along the edges. So I mean it's just fun to me to do the math and try to come up with arrangements for these squares. It's hard to explain that but anyway. My next round I'm gonna do this gorgeous lime green. I don't know how long you want me to sit and talk. I feel like my videos well you know what if they're boring it's okay. You can turn them off. That's what the off button's for. But we'll just sit and share and talk. Um, I love doing this. I, I, have, I have to say that this YouTube channel has brought me through a very difficult couple of weeks. It's given me a distraction from all the things that are going on at work right now that are very stressful. Um, the executive director of the place where I work has retired. Her last day is June 30th and another entity is taking over the um, nonprofit that I work for. I'm trying to word this so I'm not giving any major information but it's just been very stressful because I don't know what the future is going to hold. I don't know, you know, who I'm going to be working for in a week or so. And it's just been so nice to think about this YouTube channel and have something positive to focus on. I have to admit, I get obsessed with things and I'm constantly checking to see how many views it's had and I hate that. I wish I didn't do that. I want it to be successful. And, you know, I don't even know what that success looks like or means to me. I, I'm not trying to sell my work. I, you know, I, I'm i not trying to start a business. I'm just sharing. So I, if two people watch it and they enjoy it, then that's success, right? I mean, that's successful. Because I don't really have, I guess you should have a goal. And I, you know, I would like, to entertain and to inspire and that's basically my goal. I want to entertain you, I want to inspire you, and I just want to share with you my artsy life. Um, I'm sure at some point my faith will, you know, be a part of this um, podcast because I feel like everything I do is just... Um, you know, a gift from God. All my artsy life is a gift from God. The creativity is a gift from God. And and my faith is a huge part of who I am. So, um, anyway, I hope to spread some joy and some sunshine and some color in a world that sometimes is stressful and hard to 
navigate. So um, I am very thankful for creativity. I am so thankful for art and color and yarn. Man, I just love yarn. Look at this. That is just, that just makes me happy. That just makes me happy. And I love sitting and just crocheting and watching videos um, or TV and just relaxing. My husband's outside mowing the yard. <laughs> I have got to go clean bathrooms, unfortunately. I'm trying to procrastinate. It's 3 o'clock, and I've probably been talking to you for a, a long enough. So I'll end this video, and I'll try my best to cut out that portion where I was having problems with the computer. And if I can't, please forgive me and just excuse that little blip. Um, there are going to be blips, I'm sure, as I learn more about how to do this. But I really appreciate you watching. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that if you enjoyed it, you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you'll know about the next video. And again, if you want to watch me paint the whimsical watercolor blooms. I don't expect anyone to actually sit through the whole 43 minutes, but you can speed it up and it just, you know, maybe you just want to have it on in the background while you're doing something. There's no sound except maybe the birds or the sound of my water clinking and my, you know, I mean, there's just no sound to it because it was very quiet in my sunroom and that's how I like it. I love um, quiet. I love quiet and I love solitude. I need it. After a long week at work, I, I crave solitude. And my favorite thing is to get up on Saturday morning and slowly sip my coffee and just be quiet and maybe read my Bible, journal, um, paint. But I don't know why the computer just got dark. But anyway, it got dark outside, I think. Um... So all of this is part of Deb's artsy life. And I just want to talk to you and, and share a bit of that. So I hope you do something creative and fun today. And I hope you relax and go to church tomorrow. And I'll tell you what my husband used to tell me when he would leave on Saturdays to go somewhere. He'd say, make it a beautiful day. So make it a beautiful day, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you later. Okay, let me try to turn this off. Bye.